word is out, um, leadership knows that social media is a tool that we're using as a company, you know, marketing and sales, so they want to know what it's all about. You know, it's like being at Queen's last year and, and, and this woman standing up saying, excuse me, but if you're advertising in TV or in print medium, I'm not watching you and I'm not getting your message because I'm on Facebook, MySpace, Ning, mm -hmm. you know, Twitter, you know, yeah, and so she says, if you're communicating there, I'm getting your message. Social media is, is big. This is the space that we want to play in. We want to hear from our consumers. Let's start venturing into this unchartered territory. All right, see you guys. Thanks a lot. Take care. On our way to Vancouver at uh, Corporate Social Responsibility um, Summit. Delighted that Scott Ewart, our Chief Legal and Public Affairs Officer, is actually going to be in conversation with uh, the head of the journalism school for UBC and uh, Vicky Gabbaro as the uh, as the moderator in a world where you have citizen journalists where in a world where you have social media in a world where you know your key message might be great but you know any average joe or josephine walking down the street uh, may in fact be the journalist so in that kind of world the transparency you know what kind of challenges uh, does that do those things pose for corporations and how, how companies can manage through these fascinating times? We used to be worried about the, uh, the photo. Now it's the video, the photograph, uh, YouTube and, 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 and social media. Corporate reputation is being waged day in, day out in their media and on their terms. Anybody walking down the street could be capturing a story about what your business is up to uh, in the marketplace. Citizen journalism, blog, social media, just like you're doing, is adding tremendous pressure on individuals and public figures and firms to actually be more accountable. But, but you know what the thing that really ticked me off about Facebook? Okay. Ferg goes on, he's got 125 friends. <laughs> I, I go on, I have five. So I thought, you know, there's, you know, being a type A personality, how can I only have five friends? Yeah. <laughs> so, so I wrote everybody in, at Mo, uh, in my department and said, okay, I need some friends. Yeah, you gotta sign up. <laughs> so instantly I have 25 friends. So, so my son, <laughs> they don't count, they work for you. Uh. <laughs> you told them to be your friend, they don't count. <laughs> you still have no friends, you're a lawyer. <laughs> Twitter is fascinating. You've got to check it out. Information's being cast, or someone says something disparaging about Molson, that Molson Ferg can get into that conversation. That's why I'm on there. When you get involved in this, there will be criticism, and you have to be able to accept it and make change based on that. This communication channel is uh, very, very important to us because it, it actually relates to our target market. Legal drinking age to early 30s. Um, these people are commenting on things that you do every day. They comment on the business, they comment on the products. The other thing that, that, that you need to keep in mind is that there are conversations happening. And those conversations will happen whether you're there or not. If you're involved in this area, one of your jobs is to monitor the social media sites, find out what people are saying, and intervene when the facts are wrong. Say, I am, you know, VP of Communications for Molson, um, you know, so everyone knows where you're coming from and everyone knows who you are. And you say, your facts are wrong. You know, a lot of people, uh, particularly, you know, within our target market, look to the blogging community as, as an area of where, you know, people can, uh, you know, get real opinions. And we found that a lot of bloggers, uh, when, we, when we have intervened and, and, and corrected you know, fact, um, change their opinion. I found them actually be very responsible in that regard. Well, bloggers, I suppose, are not the uh, feckless nerds they used to be. I mean, <laughs> I mean, they used to be guys that sort of <laughs> in the corner, but now they look like you. You know what I mean? But God help us all. <laughs>